hit the like button, you mugs. Yo, 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 it's Aussie Kid here. Today I've got another episode of Aussie Teachers in me. Got a man like Pride Nick Diaz, too, hench. By the way, lads, if I zoom in, I'm going to zoom in when I make reads. My man leaned back. My man leaned back and then threw a uh, one-two to the body. That's jokes. Tell this guy get up in it. Lol, I, vo vo I avoided that. I remember that to be like very difficult to to uh, deny that flipping that that uh, Im Imanari roll. See what I'm saying? That's just an idiot, man. He's just gonna do that the whole fight watch. He's just gonna do that roll. Look. Fuck off, man. And then he's just gonna lay here on his back like a spastic. Never seen something so pathetic. Okay, the way you see the way I'm battering him on the feet as well. As soon as the fight starts, this guy's getting fucking battered, bro. He's stri striking is horrendous. And I'm denying takedowns with Nick, the fucking Nick Diaz. So you know the guy's terrible. There's another one in it. I mean, he's not gonna do nothing with this though, that's the thing. Yeah, right. I don't I don't know why he's got I don't know why he's got such low stamina. Maybe maybe the in the Imanari role uh, uses a lot of stamina. Before we continue with the video, please use the link in my description to sign up for 1v1me.com. When you sign up using my link, you're gonna get a ten dollar boost on your first stake, and a stake is where you can bet on the other professional competitors of the website. And I'm gonna be the one that's gonna recommend who you should bet on so that you can utilize your ten dollar boost it's because i always bet on the ufc events and i know like all the competitors so that's why i have a good knowledge of who's gonna win and who's gonna lose and the majority of the time when i bet on the ufc events i get them correct so that's why if you contact me and i'd let you know who to bet on for the upcoming ufc events you most probably will get it right so so i'm going to show you guys how you can contact me through the mobile app all right, so you click on the first icon here that says stake, and then here are all the upcoming events that you can bet on. And then here there's a UFC event. It says Elken Ma versus Jack, and you know here it says stake and get ten dollars free. That's because I got a ten dollar boost, so that's basically telling you you have a ten dollar boost. So if you don't sign up, that's not going to be there. But if you do sign up with my link, that's going to be there. So right now, uh, I say I so I say Elken Ma is most probably going to win. So I'm going to place $30 on him and it says I'm going to win 72. If I didn't have my $10 boost, then it would have said I'm going to win 62. So, and you, by the way, you guys, you need to bet a minimum of $10 for the boost to apply. You can't bet like less than $10 or else it's not going to work. 
So it needs to be at least ten dollars. But I'm gonna place thirty dollars right now on Elkem Mortal Win. And right now, <laughs> right now, it's verifying. I placed it. And then if you wanna contact me to ask who to bet on, come to the second icon that says Discover. Click on the search bar. Then write Aussie Kid YT. And then I'm gonna come up there. Press the little message button there. Click on that. And obviously I can't message because I'm not signed into an, an into an account. But you just go in there and then write, uh, Oz, hey Ozzy, who, who do you recommend that I should bet on? And then I'll respond to you. I'll say, look at all the upcoming events. I say, I think you should bet on this person. And then that way you, you'll be able to use your, your boost and you most probably will get it right. And we'll make some nice profit. By well, that first round, I was just, just piecing him up, lads. Just piecing him up. He's throwing that front kick. What are you gonna do, boss? He can't take me down either because he's got Tony Ferguson. Finally got me down in it. Yeah, right, man. Oh, my God. How can I have full grapple advantage and the guy just postures up like it's nothing? Should have denied that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, man. What is that? Fuck off, man. Well, full grapple advantage. I can't even transition. What's that? This guy, guy's, guy's moving like he's gonna do something. most it's the most pathetic tony ferguson player i've ever faced in my entire life mate this guy this guy's this guy's an absolute waste man <laughs> middle finger his nan in it no way he got me in the in the fucking got me in a leg lock
Then game P stop let's Yeah, let me give him a little stare. <laughs> Man, this is just so stupid though. Like, how is this guy... How has this guy not been knocked out? Like, the damage in this game is just too low. It's just too low. Like this, like I'm literally mixing them up so nicely, and it's just like I can't get no rock, no 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 drop, nothing. Fucking stupid game, bro. This was if this was pre-patch, this was pre-patch. That guy would have. If this was UFC four, that guy would have got battered in this in the fucking hot midway through the second, because the damage in that game is actually is actually way better. But look at the replay, it's just me mixing them up, yeah, doing the dirty mix ups. That must be 30 27. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Nick D. I'm saying 30 27 in man like Nate versus Connor in straight off the bat you already seen the slips slips to the side
He probably took that round cause due to the stun. Put a good round in it. No. Who's gonna win this fight? Let's it's too mental.
Давай. Eins keine. Da rei. I got the finish in the last second. In it. Face all bloodied up, lads. Face all fucked. That was a dirty combo right there at the end, though. That combo at the end was too dirty.